In this video, we will cover how to get a structured output using Chat Client API in Spring AI. So first thing first, we have to create our project and add some dependencies in it. So for that, we have to come to start.spring.io. I can go ahead with the default options, whatever we had over there. And for the dependencies, we can add it OpenAI because we are going to use OpenAI models. So OpenAI is one dependency and then we can have a Spring Web as another dependency. And with that, we can go ahead and generate our project. And after that, we can import it in our IntelliJ. I have already imported my project over here. First thing what we need to do once we import it is to go to application.properties and plug in our OpenAI key. So this OpenAI key I have already defined in my environment variable and I'm fetching it from there. So this particular OpenAI key, we have to map it against this particular property and this property we can get it from our Spring AI documentation so that if we have to define any particular model, then we can have another property for that. So we can just take this particular property and put it in our application.properties file and then we can choose our model which we want to use in our project. If I don't use this option then the default is going to be GPT 3.5 turbo if I want to go ahead with the GPT 4o or some other model which has been documented over here then I have to specifically use this property and have to define my model over here so in this case I can just define my model like GPT 4o as mentioned in this documentation so now our property and models has been plugged in over here so the next thing what we need to do is go to our controller class and in the controller class the first thing what we have to do is initialize our chat client and this is how we are going to initialize our chat client and this chat client is coming from a spring ai framework so as you can see over here and after that once you define it then to initialize it we have to use the property of chat client builder once you get this chat client then we have to invoke it using chat client dot build now our chat client has been initialized so using this chat client we would go ahead and interact with our lm model so in the first method we would try to get a structured response using a prompt and the json object and this is how we are going to utilize the chat client for this particular purpose so first method what we have to call in the chat client is going to be prompt and after that because we have to pass our message over here so for that we have to use something called user so under prompt then we have to go to dot user and under user then we can pass our text like this so you can see i am passing it under this particular method here you can see i am passing please provide the book details for the given category and year in the json format this is how i am passing my message or prompt in this case but you can also see we do have two variables over here defined and these two variables we have to map it with this method variables which would come externally so how we are going to map these particular variables for that we have to utilize this param property so you can see we are passing a message and then we are utilizing two param property because we do have two variables over here so the first one is category is going to be mapped with this category and this year is going to be mapped with this year and then we are invoking a call method on top of that and after that because we want to get the content of it so here we are going to use a content and as soon as we use the content method it's going to return us a string so one more thing what we have to do just to make sure the final output is indeed is going to be json object we have to set one more property on top of it so for that we would again go to the documentation and here we would have something called pons format property and we can just take this response dot format property and then again go to application dot properties and here we can just set it up so as per the documentation we have to pass json object property now spring ai would make sure the response what we are going to get it's in the valid uh, json format this particular property is not supported by all the models just to confirm okay which model supports this kind of property we can again go to this structured output and then we can navigate to the bottom of this page and here you can see a few of the model are having the built-in json properties so openai supports this particular property where we can pass the json object under this response format then azure openai also supported olama models also supported but you can see the property name is something different to over here also instead of json object we have to pass a json in this case and then the mistral ai models also support this property so not all models are supporting this property but few of the models are definitely supporting this property and in this case because we are using the open ai model so we can go ahead and set this property otherwise if you are using certain models which are not supporting this property then we have to rely on our prompt only and may need to find unit based on the response what we are getting over here right so with this in mind i would probably just go ahead 
ahead and run this code. Now our code is up and running and I will try to hit this particular endpoint over here in Postman. So I would go to Postman and here it's asking for the category and year. So I'm passing the category and year. This is going to be our post endpoint. Now let me try to hit it and you can see I have got the output like this because the return type is a string so it's giving us a text. Let me just select JSON from here and you can see I'm getting the title, author, publisher, genre, description as per our requirement. So this is the first method how we can get the structured response using prompt and the JSON object. Let's go to second method and here actually we are going to use something called bean output converter. So in this bean output converter instead of giving a prompt to generate a response in the JSON format we are going to define our class and this you can see we have defined it under entity so you can see I have defined one DT over here here we do have the books info and I have defined it as a record and here I am just defining the structure what I want so category book year review author and summary this is how we can define our structure and then directly just pass it after this call method you can see in the first one we are calling the content here we are calling the entity it also supports few additional methods so if I try to call something else over here so you can see we do have option of content entity chat response and other method so based on the requirement we have to pick and choose like what particular method we need we want the output to be generated in a specific format so we are going to utilize this entity method over here so that we can pass our classes everything else is going to be same so we still have to pass a prompt we still mapping the variables only modification what we are doing over here is passing our class and if you compare it with the chat model API that you can see here we are not specifically passing the bean output converter like we were passing in the chat model API. That's the magic of chat client API. This is the most advanced API introduced in Spring AI. This would handle a lot of things automatically. So we just have to pass a class and it will give you the desired output. So as our code is up and running, we, we can go ahead and try to hit the v1 endpoint now. And you can see we were able to get the output. And in this case, it's giving the response in the JSON for format by default. I don't have to go ahead and convert it from text to JSON because the return type is going to be in the class format only. So automatically it enabled that JSON format. So in this case, this particular property is not even required to pass over here. So let me just try to comment it out. Let me try to rerun. So when we are passing our class structure over there, then we do not have to specifically pass this particular property. This is required like when we want to get the JSON output by a prompt only. Let me go to Postman and try to hit this endpoint once more you can see like even with that property disabled we are able to get the output properly so let me go to other method now actually in this case we just wanted to get a book detail but now we want to get a two book details and in that case we need to get a list of books for that everything else is going to be same the only new modification what we are doing over here earlier in the entity we were just passing our class books info but because here we want the list of books info so that we can pass it using this new parameterized type reference by introducing this new parameterized type reference, we can handle the generic cases. So we can either pass the list, we can either pass the map and then it would be able to give us a response accordingly. So let's try to hit this V2 endpoint now and you can see we were able to get the required output. Here we do have the list and as we described in our prompt, we wanted two book details. So we were able to get a two book details over here. So this is how we can handle the list and then we do have a specifically converter for list which is going to be list output converter now in this case again in the entity section instead of you know directly passing our entity class we have to introduce this new list output converter this would be useful in a scenario where we wanted to get a generic list suppose there is a requirement okay please provide the name of five best books for the given category and year so we are just looking for a generic list we are not looking for any kind of list of classes or something like we had dealt with over here so this would be useful in generic scenario so we can just go ahead and invoke our list output converter like this when we are defining the list output converter we also have to pass this default conversion service we also have to define default conversion service which is going to come from this spring core we are going to use a list so the output is also going to get changed so the return type is going to be list of a string whereas when we were using this generic parameterized type reference and we were passing a uh, books over here so the return type was our list of books info so with this let me go to our postman again 
and try to hit this v3 endpoint and you can see like we were able to get one two three four five book details the last what we have is our map output converter and again you can see in the prompt i'm just asking okay please provide best book for the given category and year please do provide a summary of the book as well just like list output converter we are handling everything via prompt only so here we are not passing any classes similarly if you are going to use the map output converter it's going to give you the generic map output again here we do not have to pass any kind of classes as we have invoked this new map output converter so the output is going to be in the map format only that's why you can see the return type we are passing a string and the object so with this in mind try to go ahead and invoke v4 now and let me hit the send button now you can see like it's getting unexpected character and this is happening because of the raw model output so to control this we can pass one more instruction over here we can just say the response should be in the json format containing this information and on top of that i can say please remove triple quoted json from the final output so i have passed this additional instruction as well so that like it can remove any of the additional codes which is occurring in the output so with this in place let me go ahead and rerun my code now i can go ahead and try to hit this endpoint and now you can see like i'm able to get the out as required other thing instead of using the map output converter we can also rely on the new parameters type reference what we can do in this case we can just pass new parameters type reference and i can just click on And in this case, I'm not using the map output converter, but I'm passing map of a string and object in the new parameterized type reference to get the output in the map format. With this also, we can just try to test our endpoint. So the code is up and running. I can go ahead and again try to hit this v4 endpoint. And in this case also, you can see we are able to get the required output. So these are the different ways how we can generate the structured output using the much advanced chat client API. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.